Okay, as I uh, told you in the prior video, we do have high speed sync capability in manual flash exposure mode up to one four thousandth of a second with the Nissan i40. I uh, showed you the pictures on the back of the Fuji X-T1. I didn't show you on the back of the uh, uh, Fuji X-T10. It's a test shot. One four thousandth of a second at F3.5. ISO 1600, not that that matters. Perfect. Perfect exposure every time. So, high speed sync capability. That's with the Nissan i40. Um, this is the Nissan i40. This is the uh, pop-up right there underneath the bottom on the Nikon. It's on the top. We need a diffuser head. And uh, then we have uh, the white bounce card at the top. So they separated this out unlike Nikon. Runs off of four AA batteries. It is rather pricey at $269, but as I'm going to show you in a, a video here very shortly, with a Canon a TTL cable, not an icon, this is a Canon pinout. Now this is a, a speed light uh, that you can be used in regular mode in TTL with the Fuji. This is specifically for the Fuji, but with a Canon TTL cable, you can actually use this in high speed sync off camera. Go to here, to here, high speed sync capabilities. Let me turn it on. I think I still have it in uh, the... No, I turned it off. So what you do is you turn the flash unit on, you hold down the test button, if you have fingernails, for three seconds, 2,000, 3,000, till this starts blinking. And now you are in high speed sync mode. You can't use it in TTL, you have to use it in manual. And this is your power output here, 1A, 116, 132nd. But you have full high speed sync capability of 4,000th of a second with the extra. I've tested with the X Pro 2, I've tested with the X-T1, as I just showed you. Prior video, I showed you the test shots with the Fuji uh, X-T1. So X-T1, X-T10, X Pro 2, and it should work with any Fuji with high speed sync capability. This is a simple little flash, yeah, it is kind of pricey. Um, it does have a slave on this, so you can use it as a remote slave. Now, you cannot use this wirelessly at high speed sync capability. That's not a possibility. But can use it on camera, or specifically, most importantly, off camera, via flash cable in high speed sync. So you'll be shooting outdoors, portraiture, very, very bright. You know, you need to tone it down. You uh, expose your background, and then you erase or illuminate for your subject. I can dial in my uh, my shutter speed to four thousandth of a second, or two thousand, one thousand, whatever I want using this in this mode to get out of it. It will remember this mode if you turn it back off and turn it back on. To get out of it, all you have to do is hold down the test button right here. If you have fingernails, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Now it's off. Now it's just regular operating mode as it comes out of the box. And that is the power off button. So that's the Nissan i40. Full high speed sync capability with your Fuji camera. X-G1, X-T10, X-Pro2. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. And I'm glad to bring this information to you. Now, sky's the limit. High speed sync capability. This is uh, more than powerful enough. Um, shooting outdoors, one four thousand seconds to get about uh, tested distances with this to get, you know, roughly about a full blast, um, four thousand seconds. So you get a really bright, bright, bright background to uh, do proper illumination of your subject at about fifteen feet or so, which is really the max for what you want for portraiture. Say with the 56 millimeter. This was actually, let me show you here, this was with the 56 millimeter. And this was taken by a person behind the counter at 1 4,000th of a second at f1.2. You see how blurry the background is with the 56 millimeter. This is about 13, 14 feet with the 56 millimeter Fuji. So, works perfectly, baby. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.